Hey guys, so if you're wondering about the um, flag in the background, that's just kind of there in the really crappy tape on there, yeah, because I really don't feel like getting nails um, and hammering nails into my wall because as you might be able to tell, um, the failure of me doing the simple task of nailing nails in my wall, you, you can see from here right now. So here you go, me trying to put my um, gauntlet in the wall, there it is, right there. See that but, um, completely ripped out the wall. It's completely torn out of the wall. How about up here? I have like seven miscellaneous nails. This I don't even know what that was for. Because there's one right there. I don't know if that's a stain or a nail. There's cracks in the wall. Here you can see that there's maybe though. No. Uh, you can't see that. It's chips in the wall from nails. There's nails all over the place. So yeah. So as you can see from the nails everywhere, um, I really don't feel like nailing more nails into my wall. Um, so as an alternative, I'm using tape. So let's get back into the actual thing that I was going to say. I was going to say I'm going to start doing political rants, and this is going to be my first political rant video. Now the reason why I'm going to do political rant videos is because in school a lot of times, I'm in my school and I start talking about political crap, and everybody thinks it's hilarious. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people think that it's hilarious try to fix my record right here because it's bothering me. A lot of people think it's hilarious. Um, and I talk about why um, Bernie Sanders is my favorite person in the world, mainly because he likes socialism um, and how communism doesn't work. But I have a communist flag. I just blatantly make fun of the fact that communism sucks and that it's a direct ripoff of socialism. They just make it so it specifically benefits the rich and it's impossible to be rich in a communist society. If you don't know what communist is, then you probably shouldn't be watching this video. But if you do know what it is, well, I'm just going to explain what it is. Basically, in one term of communism, everybody gets paid the same amount of money no matter their job. So you might think, oh, in America, everybody gets paid the same amount of money no matter their gender, which, yeah, obviously is no matter their gender. That's, it's against the 19th Amendment in America to not pay somebody the same amount of money. But the, in Russia, they got really far into that. Um, the Soviet Union, they're sitting there, they're like, hey, why don't we just not pay every, well, they didn't do that. It was, I don't know, Romania, whatever. I don't even know if Romanians, Romania is um, socialist. I think they are. Maybe not, I don't know. Um, but communism doesn't work because they're doing that. There's no private property, as everybody knows. Um, they, yeah, you should probably look it up on like Wikipedia because this is going to be really confusing if you don't. I'm not good at explaining it. Um, but it, they paid everybody the same amount of money, no matter their profession. So they would be like, you're a doctor and you work at McDonald's, which there was only like one McDonald's in the Soviet Union. It was ridiculous. There was no fast food. Like, I'm not kidding. There was like no fast food. The burger, they didn't have that in the Soviet Union. Um, and the times that they did, they were like huge lines across Russia to get that. And the only people who got that stuff was like Lenin and Stalin. So getting into the actual idea is you could work at in the Soviet Union you can work at some like really low paying job that would be there I don't know I'm trying to think of something like a auto mechanic or something which they still would have had very little of because there were very little cars as we all know um, Ronald Reagan's joke you all know a man getting a car in the Soviet Union um, goes up to the <laughs> see my crap job goes up to the counter, puts the money down on the counter, and the guy's like, it's going to be 10 years. Um, is it going to be on a, the morning or evening? Or, yeah. Um, morning or evening, it, why would it matter? It's 10 years in the future because the plumber comes in the morning. It, it's, if you understand it, it's funny. Um, if you don't understand it, look it up because, well, you'll get it. Um... Yeah, I'm just trying to think of somebody who'd get paid like a little, little money in the Soviet Union. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's just go pretend that they had someone who works at Burger King. Just pretend. Um, of course they didn't, but just pretend. Um, someone works at Burger King and somebody is, an, I don't know, a trauma surgeon. They'd be like getting paid the exact same amount of money. Minimum wage. <laughs> 
just completely stupid or more than minimum wage, whatever they got paid to get. It doesn't matter their profession. Now, in socialism, it works the same way, but in socialism, there's other benefits to that where the people own everything. So the people own everything. So, But in communism, it's more of the government that owes everything. So if the government owns everything, then that means that nobody... And that that kind of means that if you go to the Soviet Union, all right, and socialism doesn't work by this. If you go to getting back to that, I got cut off really quickly. Um, the Soviet Union, if you got, all right, so if you wanted to, I don't know, imagine you were somebody, you were a crook, and you wanted to break into somebody's house. You would break into somebody's house. You would be breaking into what you could say the government's house. Because it's the government's property, even though there is no private property. As you can see, hippity hoppity, no private property. Um, as you can, yeah, breaking into the go you're breaking into the government's house. You're committing even more of a crime than you would be in America, but you're not committing a crime against the actual person who, technically, in America would own this house, but in the Soviet Union, in a socialist society, you can break into somebody's house, and it would it wouldn't belong to them but it would belong to the people as a whole so you'd be breaking into kind of like the i'm trying to think the declaration of independence we the people you'd kind of be breaking into that house everybody's decision socialism can work because in communism base basically everybody's looking at these dictators it's a dictatorship everybody's looking at these di dictators like why do I want to help the society if I can't even get out of it? In socialism, they're given more of an advantage, not an advantage, but more of a chance to be able to leave. Um, you can leave a socialist society. You are able to. If you wanted to leave one, you can, depending on it. Um, but a communist society, they're kind of just like, no, you can't leave it. We're not going to let you leave this country. Oh, well, no, not really. Like China, you can leave China, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> In the Soviet Union, they didn't. They, you'd have to have a lot, a lot of money to leave, and you'd ha or you'd have to get out like a spy. But that was really confusing. Um, so if they're treating them like crap, why would they want to support the society? Now, if they're treating them well, free health care, things like that, like a socialist society, um, then yeah, if they're treating them well, then they'll be like, hey, let's keep this great country alive. And even though I'm gonna get paid. I'm going to be working more and can get paid the same amount of money as someone who works at McDonald's. Um, I want to keep this society alive so that I keep getting these benefits so I'm not forced to move somewhere else that's still good. Like America, still good. Like a capitalist society, still good, but not as good if you are in that society receiving those benefits. Now, I'm not saying capitalism sucks. I'm saying personally under specific circumstances... Socialism can be better. Under any circumstances, capitalism will more than likely work. Um, under some circumstances, when socialism does take effect, and if socialism does work, then it can be a good thing. But, yeah, the, you're, you start talking about, I don't know, the bigger, bigger countries, they're bad. They're not good. When socialism is in there, they don't, they're not good countries that have socialism. They don't work. Um... Kind of move it up the line if you're thinking, um, Canada, all right? Canada, this is on the top, all right? So the three levels, I don't know. I'm just trying to think something. Three levels of the Romanian flag, I don't know. Canada, <laughs> America, Mexico. So Canada on the top works, would technically work, would kind of work with socialism, depending on how they use it. America wouldn't work. You, you, you would not work with socialism. Mexico do not bring socialism to this country. So it's kind of from up the top, I've noticed the higher things up kind of will work a little. Well, no, no, that's not right. Because I know that Iraq won't work with socialism. <laughs> they're higher up both. They're above the... They're not really... Or wait, are they? I think they're above the equator. I don't know. I'm not, not that good na on maps. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I completely forget. But socialism can work under certain circumstances. Um, 
And this is the thing, I talk about Bernie Sanders a lot sometimes because I like Bernie Sanders because he likes socialism. <laughs> um, other than that, yeah, I talk a lot. Of, I'm going to start talking a lot about Poland and things like that. And if you guys don't know what that is and you want to continue watching it, it's more than, if you think this type of stuff is funny, watching people do these stupid rants, then you're more than likely going to think this is weird because I'm going to establish more than likely put a bunch of memes in it um, and make it sound stupid. Because a lot of people in my school, that's what I do in school, and there's a few people in my school who thinks it's hilarious. Um, who a lot of times don't even know what socialism and capitalism is. Soviet anthem starts playing. So if you're talking about the Soviet Union, um, nothing works in the Soviet Union. Nothing does. Um, absolutely nothing will work in the Soviet Union. You're trying to establish um, some type of setup, nothing works. Um, and I'm surprised it lasted as long as it did, quite honestly. 1991, it started to crumple. I think it was really crumpling <laughs> ever since 1922. For those of you who don't know, communism was truly, in the Soviet Union, was truly established in 1922. December 30th, I'm pretty sure, or 31st, I think. It's 30th. Yep. Also, I'm just saying, the Soviet Union, all right, was kind of maneuvering all these other st communist countries, China, Vietnam, Cuba, uh, North Korea, that's why Korea and North Korea are separate, were all just maneuvering them because they're smaller countries. Well, China's pretty big. But they're smaller than the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union was huge. Trying to move and maneuver them around to make more Soviet, make the entire world Soviet, Red Earth. Now... What do you think would have happened? I want you guys to leave in the comments what you think would have happened if the Americans or any other country just didn't get involved with the Soviet Union. Um, personally, I think that they probably would have taken control over some other countries, all in that European area. Um, some of the ones closer to America kind of would have stayed at their own pace. I honestly don't, there wouldn't have been the Vietnam War, there wouldn't have been the Cold War, there wouldn't have been a lot of stuff. Um, I mean, really, you're thinking about the Vietnam War, but there's probably, there'd probably be a lot of other wars, though. They'd probably be, honest to God, they'd probably, they'd probably get a hold of Germany at that point in time, and Poland, considering the fact that the Russians beat Germany multiple times. Um, and there were a few times they worked together. Uh, you know, Germany and Poland, Germany and Russia, Poland, yeah. They'd probably eventually take control of Poland because Poland was kind of weaker in the middle of everything. They were just like, crap. Um, they'd probably take control of most of the stuff. That, that'd suck. Um, if the world became socialist, that might work. If the entire planet was socialist, that might work. It would be possible because if the entire planet was socialist... Oh, no, that sucked, too, if the entire planet was socialist, because if the entire planet was socialist, that'd mean that there'd probably be some great dictator who was like, hey, people can't leave, so let's just make this a paradise for myself and have everybody else working like slaves, and then the rich people are kind of in the average spot any other country would have had. That would suck. Um, yeah. Also, you also have to think, did we really win the Vietnam War? Let's think about that. America, we had a lot of casualties. Also, um, I thought this was funny, as I like to mention it. Um, uh, I forget what they're called. 1917, it was the revolution in Russia. I, I call them the Bush people, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Like, the Bush people. I was explaining that to my friend. And he, I was like, the Bush people. And he's like, you mean the Vietnamese from the Vietnam War? I'm like, oh my god, no. And if you don't get that, it's because the guerrilla warfare, whatever you're going to call that. Vietnam, Vietnam, um, there's a lot of really weird jokes like that. Some of them are funny, some of them are stupid. Um, that was kind of stupid. It was like one of those stupid things that's like, that's just dumb. Um, yeah. That's the stuff that I do anymore. I, I make these stupid jokes. And yes, for those of you who are like, why is the only flag that I have in my room communist? I'm gonna get more flags. I'm probably gonna get like the Australian and Polish flag and the English flag and stuff. I'm gonna get more flags. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, probably not gonna have an American flag because, you know, I'm in America, like, there's not really any need for it. Also, I was on Reddit, and in case that you find my YouTube channel, um, yeah, I'm not actually from Poland, um, I'm actually Polish, though. 
Um, and I do speak a little bit of Polish, but I'm not actually Poland. Pol Polish. Well, no, I'm not actually from Poland. I am Polish, and I speak a little bit of Polish. And mostly Russian, as you guys might know. Sulke Biet and Kozil and Simishki. I just said, I'm not going to say what the first thing I said. If you don't know what it is, please don't look it up. Um, Kozil is goat, and Simishki is sunflower seed. <laughs> The dumbest four words you can know in Russian. I, I know some other things, but they're stupid. They're like just dumb words that you don't really. It's not. They don't even mean anything. They're just stupid words. Um, yeah, and Moscow and vodka and caviar. All three are pronounced the same way in English. <laughs> you could tell anybody you know how to say something in Russia, and you can just in Russian, and you can go to Moscow. Or, vodka or caviar they're all the same word um i just realized i was talking about moscow vodka and caviar for like five minutes i, don't know, I talk about this stuff and i kind of get just loose with the stuff that i talk about people think that it's funny sometimes and so other times people are like that's stupid um but if you actually enjoyed this content surprisingly then please subscribe um because i can tell you honestly not all of it's going to be funny um, <laughs> Some of it's just going to be straight stupid, and no, don't worry, because I'm not going to get any, like, I'm not going to, I know that this, it gets a touchy subject with this political stuff anymore, and there's people making offensive memes and stuff, and it, it, it gets on my nerves too, and I'm not, I'm not even Jewish with that type of stuff. Um, not to say anything bad about that, but people get really upset about that stuff, and I'm not going to talk about that, and I know I've seen YouTube channels where people talk about that type of stuff, that's all they talk about, and they say it's like political rants that exists on YouTube surprisingly enough and they just talk about that stuff and start making memes and I, th I think it's offensive um I'm not going to talk about that stuff so nobody worry about that if they're concerned that I'm going to start talking about offensive stuff like that I'm not um but I will frequently talk about the USSR and communism so <laughs> I'm not communist though um I'm more socialist than communist and more capitalist than socialist but socialist than capitalist at the same time it's really confusing um yeah I, j I just like talking about that weird type of stuff um, and a lot of, it, it doesn't, I don't know, I feel like over the, if you've seen any of my older videos, like older, 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 I've removed a couple of them actually, um, I, I, <laughs> if I honestly went back, I don't know, a year, even a year in the past and started talking about communism, I'd have no idea what I was talking about. Just in the past, I, I don't know, I, <laughs> honest to God. I was an idiot a year ago. I was dumb and I'm not, I'm pretty dumb now. <laughs> um, no, I'm not that stupid. I'm just weird. Um, especially with the communist crap. I am going to get other flags. Um, I'm going to get a Polish flag more than likely and an English flag. Um, I think of other flags that are interessante. Um, yeah. Probably the French flag. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'll have to think about that. But yeah. Other than that, just remember try to subscribe. I haven't figured out how to get that. Um, whatever it's called, the little thing in the bottom, the corner of the screen, whatever they're called, the uh, watermarks. I haven't figured out how to get that. So, if you guys know how to get that, then let me know. If you don't know how to get that, then just can you just go down and subscribe? I, I need a lot of subscribers right now. I'm trying to build up something for uh, another project I wanted to do with my friend, which I don't know. I don't really want to do that that much anymore <laughs> quite honestly um yeah also I also haven't noticed I have a little bit of a cold <clears throat> yeah it's not that bad though other than that I'm probably gonna turn it off and just think of other things to rant about because every day I'm gonna do something different that's what I'm thinking or at least weekly um I'm gonna do something so I can focus with schoolwork weekly I'm gonna do a um video and then yeah that occasionally do it day to day and at least get one in every week i'm going to try to do that so i haven't posted very much other than that i think the latest activity i had was um with coin roll hunting uh month, two months ago one month ago i don't know i'm still going to do that type of stuff too for those of you who like that type of coin rolling stuff i'll have to figure out how to get a um, patreon whatever they're called i don't even know what that is Quite honestly, I hear people like, oh, do something with my Patreon, and they get donations. I don't know what a Patreon is. If you guys can explain that to me, then please let me know. I do not know what a Patreon is, and I'm going to learn it. Um, 
Plus, I have a Reddit. Uh, I have a Reddit account, and it's I don't remember what it's called. I'll let you guys know next time I get it up. All right, but other than that, thank you. Try to subscribe next time you can. Um, like the video, share it definitely, please. It would really support me if you share the videos and you like them. Share them with people who you think would find this funny.